When we think about space research at Georgia Tech, this is really a golden age. At Georgia Tech, we are standing up an interdisciplinary research institute for space research. When you start to understand how things connect, you see that all of the engineering and all of the science and all of the policy and all of the business, it all lives in this ecosystem. And having the opportunity to create an institute that celebrates and promotes that interconnectivity, it's an incredible moment. Georgia Tech's a really fantastic place to have a research institute like this. And that is because we have so many departments that do space research from different perspectives. There are all these centers on campus and we sort of independently work from one another, but this really would provide a way for us to sort of centralize our activities and to sort of have a cohesiveness. It is this pathway that allows it to really grow and to encompass almost all of the other activities that are going on within Georgia Tech, but that means all of the colleges and including GTRI. In my lab, we are engaged in flight missions that advance the state of the art. There comes a day where we launch and we fly the spacecraft into space. We actually execute the mission here from Georgia Tech. Our students sit in front of the consoles that command the spacecraft. So a student can come here and see this entire process from beginning to end, and they can find the thing that inspires them and become an expert in that area. We really do have some of the top minds in each of our fields here at Georgia Tech, and I think being able to collaborate with them and even to expand my own research. For example, the lunar work that I'm interested in doing, so the work on the moon, that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't come really to Georgia Tech, at least not this readily, and really thinking about how I can bring my perspective from geology and also what we do on Mars to doing you know, science on the moon and how that can help the moon to Mars perspective. We're formerly the Southeast Center for Lunar Science. We are an approved lunar science laboratory, which means we have approval to have lunar materials here. There's a lot of information that could be learned on the moon. Earth is the absolute worst place to try and understand early life because we've polluted this place in a way that you can't imagine. But the moon's poles, on the other hand, are probably the pristine library for this type of stuff. You could argue that the poles of the moon are the museum of the birth of the solar system. A lot of people aren't even aware of how much space impacts them. There are technologies that are going to come out of this, better medicine, better materials, so the overall ability to have technology advance at a rate it normally would not is probably going to be pretty important. Some of the ideas and developments that we're making in other planetary bodies are very applicable to problems that we have here on Earth. And that can be climate change, it could be geohazards. A lot of the technology that we develop to study other planetary bodies has actually helped us in developing technology to study our own planetary body. Space is a big part of the solution to these social challenges, and no one department or discipline is going to be able to solve these problems by itself. It really is working together that we can really grasp these very global problems and challenges that our society is facing and really make life better for everyone.